This oh, meeting is being here. recorded. I didn't understand, but now I, I just how understand how how I can to do to get it. Okay. Get what? <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Hi, Hi. teacher. Hi. I couldn't be with you today. I'm sorry. I couldn't be in class yesterday. Yeah, what happened? Um, I uh, I didn't have any audio audio at all. Yeah, I've, I've realized that. Yes. But now, thanks God, here I am. Good, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You too. All right, nice. Hold on. How is everyone today? Very good. Thank you. Oh, yes. nice. Very good. I was asking Amilcar uh, what happened with the camera of his computer because he he um, he, he looks dark. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh. uh, it's uh, uh, because uh, my computer is is old, <laughs> ah. uh, and I have put uh, an extra camera. Because the computer it has thing any camera. Ah, yeah. ah okay. <laughs> I understand now. <laughs> but yeah, because if, we cannot see you clearly. That's why. If you want, if you want to see my face, I going to change or of <laughs> position. Good evening, guys. Good evening, Walter. Good evening, Walter. How are you? Good evening, Walter. <laughs> Wow, I saw. Hey, I, hey, how are you? The majority, the majority of the class is here today. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday, the my the majority of class wasn't. Was yeah, and, and we did yeah. something interesting yesterday. We learned a lot of things. Remember? Yeah. Uh, we, all the conditionals and the difference. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a maker. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Much better. <laughs> okay. You look better. Right. Wow, I can see to Amilka. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he is alive. <laughs> he is alive. <laughs> uh, I, I have a doubt. Uh, uh, all this, all this color. Uh, I have couldn't see very well uh, the teacher face. <laughs> Amilka cut your cut your mustache. What happened, Amilka? <laughs> huh? Well, you don't cut your mustache. You shave. Shave, yeah, yeah. That is the word, yeah. Yeah, shave. Amilka, you had a mustache. Uh, not teacher. <laughs> you have a beard, no. right? A complete beer. Yeah. yeah. I use the the, the razor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Because I I I am I am fifty years old. You're very young. You yeah, young. yeah. You are very young. <laughs> Okay, one moment, please. Okay, so yesterday we did um, the modals. Remember the past modals? Uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the difference between all the modals, the difference between can, could, 
will, going to, and would. Correct? Yeah. Today, we're just going to do one more. And, uh, we're just going to do a couple of more. Have to and must. Do you know what is the difference yeah. between have to and must? I don't I remember. Think should... uh, ha have to, sorry. I think uh, you just have to when you have uh, some responsibilities uh, appear suddenly. And you use a must when have totally, totally responsibility. For example, mm -hmm. when you pay taxes, yeah, I think you use must. When you need to give money to uh, your family, it's most, I think. Okay. I think uh, most uh, uh, means a little bit of, um, it's, a, it's a word of imperative. Okay. Tell me. And... Uh, must be is um, you need to do something, but it's less imperative that uh, must. Okay, hold on, please. Teacher, I believe that must is something that we have to do and we have no choice, no choice. Yeah. We must do it. Yeah, it's a top on the, on the models verse. 100% okay, sure, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a responsibility. It's an obli obligation. Yes. It's an obligation. Yeah. <laughs> it's an obligation, of course. But have to, I don't remember. Really. Well, both, remember? both are, are. Both are the same picture? Yeah, I mean, I mean, both of them are responsibility. Yeah. Both are responsibility, except there's a very, um, there's a difference that one, it's a legal responsibility. One has yeah. a legal tone, which is must. Yeah, it's must. Es legal. O. With a con contra uh, contrato. No. Mm -hmm. Must, must is legal or authority. Legal, legal or authority. Who is authority for you? Your boss, your mother, your doctor, in a class, your teacher, you know, the authorities. Yes. Authorities. Ah, yes. Authority. So for example, autoridad, huh? The police. So when do you say must? Must is when something is legal. Remember, remember in the uh, pandemia? Mm -hmm. The mask. Yes. There was a point that it was illegal. You have to use it. And the, and the people, like if you go to a supermarket, they say <clears throat> you must wear a mask or you can't come in. Mm -hmm. Now they can't. Now it's your option. Okay, for example. In your job, Janet, where do you work? Oh, yeah, you, you, you work in the law firm, correct? Yes. Okay. What, can you give me an example of must as a legal term? Uh, you need to, uh, you must pay taxes every okay. year. Very good. You must yeah. pay taxes every year. Some people don't, but that's illegal. Yeah. Eventually, there's a consequence. Yes. Um, when you subscribe a contract, you must to to, to um, take responsibility of all the clauses you are signed on it. Assigned. Okay. Child support, mat, mat, manutención, child yeah. support. You have to pay or you must. You must. Si están en esa situación, right? Yeah. yeah. You must pay. You must. Hey, quieren oír algo chivo, se lo voy a contar rápido. Hoy, hoy, llamó, hoy, hoy, hoy llamó un señor bien enojado a una aseguradora o a un estado, no sé. 
Sí, a un estado, pero creo, bueno, la cosa es de que, ¿por qué me están quitando 800 dólares? Y le dicen, señor, usted debe 12 mil dólares al estado. ¿Por qué? De manutención. <risa> pero si mis hijos ya tienen, uno tiene 28 y el otro 32. Sí, le dicen, pero nosotros les mantuvimos sus hijos mientras eran menores de edad. <risa> mientras usted Como dicen no buen pagamos. salvadoreño, te topado en la troco. Ya, yeah, pero I said, wow, that was, that was good. So, I imagine yeah. this man disappeared. Uh, yeah. He stopped working, or I don't know, he went to a different country. And the, the state helped pay the child support. Yeah. But they said, this man, someday he will come back. He will be <laughs> in Planilla again. And then he was very, very angry. <laughs> But I said, wow, that was a good idea. Because imagine 32 years old, his children. So and imagine he, a, 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 that situation in El Salvador. Oh, Happens. man. <laughs> it, it should. It would, it would be nice. Yeah. It, yeah. it would be good. Okay. So what else is a must? You must take a, a medicine. Huh? You must to take a medicine. Okay. Okay, good. Yes. When you're a doctor, the doctor has authority on you. So he says, you must take medicine. You must take medicine. ¿Por qué? Porque es autoridad. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, sometimes um, they tell you, hey, you must stop drinking or you will die. Yeah. You must stop this, etc. Now, I thought Gwen does have to. Let me give you an example. Miguel and Anto uh, Rafael. Miguel Antonio and Rafael. I am your boss. Okay, so imagine I am your boss and I tell you, Miguel and Rafael, Saturday, you must come dress formal. Okay. And Rafael asked, hey, what did he say? What did the boss said? The boss said, you have to come formal. Okay. Okay. ¿Por qué es have to? Se va a ir feo, pero en ese sentido, Miguel y Rafael son iguales. Because it's companions. Yes. You are the boss and you can use the must. I am the authority, however, so I say must. Yeah, but however, uh, Rafael and me is a companion. Yes. Mm -hmm. A partner. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so that is the difference between have to and must. Okay. Oh, is the only this is the difference so how about the difference between must and have to oh teacher um, when you say i have to go it's a phrase excuse me when you say i have to go it's a phrase I think. Uh -huh, it's a phrase Okay, when I say uh, I have to buy some food for my dinner, is right the use of the have to? Hmm? Is right yes. use have to in this yes. situation? Can you excuse me? I'm going to change my headsets because I can't okay. I can't hear very well. Hold on, please. Okay, okay. No Give worries. me one second. pudieron encontrar eh, los libros infantiles en inglés en internet no 
No, no los he buscado. Claro. No, yo, yo no los encontré. I only uh, was watching some Spanish. movies of, of Disney Plus. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's good. Idea. It's good. It, when you listen that movies, oh, I understand everything. It's a comprehensive words for a child. Yeah, it's good. You look at movies or you look at series? Series. A series or movies. For example, I was watching a live okay. in English. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So we have, so now we understand the difference between must and have to. Yeah, this is, you know, you can say you must and you have to, but if you ever stop and ask a hey, teacher, hey, what is the difference between have to and must? Es como en español, que la diferencia de tengo que hacerlo y debo de hacerlo. Mm -hmm. That is the difference. There's always a difference. Debo de is you know, no obligation. obligation. Sometimes, sometimes the two are obligations, but the only difference is that debo or have to, or must has a legal tone. Yeah. Have to like a compromise. It can be obligation, a compromise, a will, but you know, but like um, imagine you. You pay taxes. You like it or not, you must pay, pay taxes. Tax. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, so give me one second, please, so we can watch the video. Hold on, let me see. Past models for certainty. Let's watch this video again. We may use must or couldn't have. This time we'll study past models for degrees of certainty. Stay and find out what this is about. Past models for degrees of certainty. It's almost certain. She must have left already. She must not have turned on her cell phone. It's not possible. She couldn't have been at home. It's possible. She may have forgotten the time. She might have forgotten the time. She may not have remembered the time. She might not have remembered the time. Her car could have broken down. Past models for certainty. We may use must or couldn't have. We use must or must not have when we are almost certain. We may also use couldn't have if it's not possible. Past models of possibility. We may use may, might, or could have. So remember, we may use may, might, and could when something is possible, but we don't know for sure. When you want to use may, might, or could have, this is what you should follow. Subject plus may or might or could plus have plus past participle. She may have gotten lost. I will present two situations. We want you to come up with the best explanation. Number one, your best friend is in a terrible mood today. Number two, your brother or sister is short of money again. Okay, so let's do this. Who can do number one? Miguel Antonio, can you do number one? Read. Read the number one or answer? Number one and the possible, the, 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 all the possible answers and you tell me which is correct. Okay. The option D, I think she could have had a fight with her boyfriend.
No, but what is number one though? I mean, can you read number one? Jane is terrible okay. mood today. Okay, Jane is in a terrible mood today. Uh, the first option, he may have gotten raised. The second option is she must not have gotten enough sleep. The option three is he may, might not have done his work on time. Option four is she could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Uh, five is she must have spent too much last month. Uh, option six is he could have her good news. I think it is the option for the D. She could have had a fight with her she, boyfriend. She could have. She, she could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Okay, good. Okay, let's change. Let's see. Can you choose number the, the second person, please? Uh, Patricia. Okay. The number two, Brian got a call and looked worried. Um, the option are. He may have gotten a rise. She must not have gotten enough to sleep. He might not have done his work on time. She could have had a fight with her boyfriend. She must have spent too much last month. He couldn't have heard good news. I think the, the correct answer is um, the last one. He could have heard good news. Yeah. He couldn't have heard good news. Yeah, very good. Number three, the teacher looks very happy today. Uh, let me see how I go in order here. Sandra, can you read number three, please? Okay, teacher. The teacher looks very happy today. Hey, he may. He may have gotten a raise. B, she must not have gotten enough to sleep. He might not have done his work on time. D, she could have had a fight with her boyfriend. She must have spent too much last month. He couldn't have heard good news. Okay, um, I choose the letter. Let me see. Um, A. He may have gotten a race. All right. Rafael, can you do number four, please? Yes, Maura couldn't keep her eyes open. Number A, he may have gotten a race. B, she must not have gotten enough sleep. C, he might not have done his work on time. D, she could have had a fight with her boyfriend. E, she must have spent too much last month. F, he couldn't have her good news. E is number B, she must not have gotten enough sleep. Okay, okay. And number five, Janet, Yanira. I like to say your name, Janet, Yanira. <laughs> uh, number five uh, says, Jeff was fire, fired. Fired. Mm -hmm. fired. Jeff was fired from his job. Uh, letter A, he might have gotten a rise. Letter B, she must not have gotten an outsleep. Larry C, he might not have done his work on time. Larry D, she could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Larry E, she must have spent too much last month. And Larry F, he could 
he couldn't have in he couldn't have heard good news. And the answer, the answer I think it's letter C. Letter C. Okay. Number six, my cousin is short of money again. Yancy, Yvette. Okay, my cousin is short of money again. Letter A, he may have gotten a rise. Letter B, she must not have gotten enough sleep. Letter C, he might not have done his work on time. Letter D, she could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Letter E, she, mu she must have spent too much last month. Letter F, he couldn't have heard good news. The letter, the letter E is the correct. She must have spent too much last month. Okay, let's see if we got them all right then. Now, lesson objective, it says by this, by the end of this session, participants will have learned the use of past models for giving opinions and advice on real and hypothetical events. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what this is. Hi, welcome. Can you hear? We will now study past models. Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. Yes. For opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay, so let's see how this works. So knowledge check, instructions. Complete the conversations using a past model with the verbs given. You may use could have, would have, should have, or it's negatives. Do oh, not sure. I, get, I, I got confused. Oh, when you yes, use only, when you use only should, uh, I remember is only advice when you use the present. I think when you use a past, in this case, using a auxiliary have, the situation is different. It's a, for opinion, not for advice. Yes, right? Yeah, I mean, but even even when, when you use present, an opinion yeah. in a way is a little advice. Yeah, yeah, I, okay, okay. I mean, advice okay. and opinion is similar. The same thing, yeah. If you, yeah. Okay. Okay, so it says here, complete the conversations using past models with the verbs given. You may use could have, would have, should have, or it's negatives. Do not need to type everything, only the past models with the verbs in its correct form. No capital letters is 
and no periods needed. Like number one, I invited my boyfriend over to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. He looked so messy. Well, he, what do you think? Could have dressed. Could have dressed. Could have dressed. Could have dressed. Keep in mind, dress. could have and should have. The, for me, both are good. But I imagine the the, the platform is, is going with good. Could have dressed. Should. Hmm. You know what? In this case, <laughs> he must have dressed neatly. He should have. He must have. He could have. I mean, <laughs> you don't go and meet your... your Girlfriend's family like this. B, I blank ask him to wear something nicer. Teacher, but the correct answer and the first time and the first one is could have dressed. Oh yeah, he could have dressed. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now next, what is B? Mm -hmm. I blank ask him to wear something nicer. Hypothetical. Could have asked. Would have. Would have. have. Yeah. Would have, would have asked. asked. Would have. Asked. Asked. Would have. Asked. Yes. Would have. I could have asked him. A oh, would. Would. Would have. Asked. Would. Would have. Would have asked. Hypothetical. No, it's actually I could have or I should have. Would. Would have. Would. 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 would have. Really? In the platform accepted would? Yep. Yeah. 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 That is the right answer. Accept. Yeah. But in the first one is could have, could have dressed. But you know what? I don't. Right. Okay. No. Okay. So let's analyze this. I invited my boyfriend over to meet my parents. Sorry. I don't. El micrófono está desactivado. Sorry about that. My, my Google. Okay. I have that smart speaker. So it's talking about past. If you see, I invited my boyfriend over to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. Everything has passed. He looked so messy. Well, he should have dressed, he could have dressed neatly. He should have dressed neatly. Those are correct. Mm. B, but I, was like, I could have asked him, it's past. Why would? I don't know, but I used a would and it marked him correct. Mm. Only the option would is the correct mm -hmm. for the maybe, father. For maybe it's another another answer, another correct answer, cold and would. Let me check. I, I don't like would. It doesn't make sense. I would have asked. Would. <laughs> okay, oigan esto. Yo invité a mi novio a conocer a mis padres, pero él llegó vistiendo pantalones rotos. Se miraba sucio. Se miraba desordenado. Desordenado. Ok. Bueno, entonces él se hubiera vestido. O, oh, well, él se hubiera vestido limpio. Ordenado. Eh, ordenado, ok. Él se hubiera vestido ordenado. Nítidamente. O oh, nítidamente. Yo le hubiera, le, le debía haberle pedido que usara algo nuevo. Eso sería. I should have. I should, I should have. have. Yes. I should have asked. Because it's still past. Or I could have asked him, también. Podría le, haberle pedido. Ah, le pude haber pedido que se vistiera algo nuevo. Pero would, I, I, I don't know why it's, ah. In my opinion, wood is not correct. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the platform has mistakes. Habría preguntado. No, porque aquí dice, yo le hubiera preguntado. Yo le hubiera pedido que 
O sea, yo le hubiera pedido que se vistiera mejor. Pero no tiene nada que ver. Yo le hubiera pedido con lo que acabamos de leer acá. Es le debí haber pedido. Uh -huh. I should have. I should have. I should have. O le pude haber pedido. I could have. Pero I would have. I don't like it. Oh, it's another person. It's, a, uh, suger it's una sugerencia que le hace. O porque es hipotético. Mm -hmm. Hypothetical situation. Hypothetical situation. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. No, but it's still. Well. Okay, number two. Can you read number two? Let me see who have I not heard today. Let me see. <clears throat> Jacqueline. Jacqueline, can you do number two, please? <laughs> Number three. Number two. Jacqueline, can you do number two, please? Okay, I don't think Jacqueline can hear. Beto, <laughs> can you do number Yo, two, please? For sure. Um, number two, John borrowed my car and dented it. When he returned it, when he returned it, he didn't even say anything about it. He, he should, he should have told you. Yes, he should have told you. Saben que es dent, right? Sí. Golpe, abollado. Golpeado, abollado. Yeah, dent is like, uh -huh. it's not a, it's not a crash. It's just. Yes, it's like an Yes, Kamananza, yeah, I would say it's a yeah. Dent is is something really not that serious, but it's of course it's serious, but yes, yes, it is. All right. All right, hold on, give me one second. I wanted to show something. Hey Rafael, check this out. Check the ah nice. <laughs> this is a 1970 Ford Capri. Okay. Oh my. Wow. It's a do nice you, car. Do you collect wow. these? Yes. <laughs> you got in Dollar City? No, no. Um <laughs> you know they actually they actually gave it to my son. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> but um, I immediately took it. I said, hmm, this could be interesting because my son will not play with this. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rafael, if I ever see you, I will give it to you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever go to, um, if I ever go to Merliot, I will pass by Pollo Real and leave it to you, all right? Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's new. I haven't opened it. Yes, I see. And you teacher receive yeah. a discount for Rafael. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Rafael, I, I shouldn't open it, correct? Yes, correct. Don't open it. Yes. Yes, open it. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, my son was no, no, I want it, I want it. Yeah, yeah, to love you, to love you. So I just took it. <laughs> All right. So um Let's do this. Let's finish. B here is, I'm sorry, number two, John borrowed my car. Oh, so we understand what a dent is, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. number three, I am exhausted. Mary came over and stayed until 2 a.m. She blank so late. She shouldn't have stayed. She shouldn't have stayed so late. Yes. 
don't you hate that when you have visitors and they never go? Oh, yes. yes. It's like, oh, my God. It's, you, know, you know, you start doing this and, and they, don't, they don't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is B? You blank start yawning. You blank, you, you know what is yawning, correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. No, no, no. Why do you have that? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you blank start yawning. Maybe she would have gotten the hint. You should have. You should have started. You yawning. should have. Yes, you should have started. You should have started. Okay, number four. Tom invited me to play, but ended up paying for both of us. I I didn't have paid for him. Wouldn't have paid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, have paid. paid for him. I wouldn't have paid. Right. I would I wouldn't have paid he blank not invite if he was short of money shouldn't have, shouldn't invited. have invited have invited have invited you if he shouldn't have invited. invited he shouldn't shouldn't have, have invited invited <laughs> invited me Oh my oh, god. No oh. oh my god. Probably the apostrophe. The no apostrophe. Problem teacher. Yeah. Uh, in wouldn't, uh, wouldn't. Oh yeah, I see the end. <laughs> also uh, on this and, and the last one and the me. The word me. He shouldn't have invited me. Well, but me is correct. Um, over here in letter B is should have started joining, joining. You know, so, what do I do this? Johnny happened. I happened. Yeah, that's, that's wrong, wrong for me. Yeah. When when I'm working in the platform and that happened to me. I really feel so angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I will so be honest nice. with you. I will be honest with you. I am not a fan of the platform. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened with the problem with the apostrophe teacher. I don't know that the because, dance no, could be shit. Mm. No, but you know the problem I don't like about the platform, and this I am honest, that sometimes the platform only wants one specific answer, and sometimes three different answers yeah. are okay. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's yeah. when people get confused. But teacher, but it was supposed, why not would you have come have to and and they're all okay. Okay, so listen, let's do I could have. Remember yesterday, what is the difference between can and could? Ability and Person and past. Past ability. Okay, so it's in past. Could is past of can, yes. Yeah. Could is past of can. So I could have. So I have the, the ability to do it. Yeah. Okay. So listen to this. Imagine, this is an example. Imagine last night, my friends, after class, my friends called me and they said, David, come over. There's a party. I said, no, I have to work tomorrow. Come mm -hmm. over, man. Just one beer. Okay, so I went. And that one beer became 20 beers. <laughs> I came home at four in the morning. I didn't go to work today. I had problems in my job. I had problems with my wife. I forgot to pick up my son. Everything was terrible today. So I said, I could have said no. <laughs> 
Yes. I had the ability to say no, but I said yes. This is an example, okay? <laughs> no, it didn't happen. But do you understand? You could have said no. Yes. <laughs> Cuando van en una rueda de miedo y ya va la parte. Uy, no, 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 bajémonos, bajémonos. No, no, man, you could have said no, but you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way back now. No. Yes. So that means that in the past you had an option. You can say yes or you can say no. Do you want to get on the the um roller coaster? And the roller coaster, yes. She, you said yes. Okay. Now when we're in the roller, no, no, no. Get off. Get off. No, I can't. There's no. Hey, you could have said no. When your friend has problems with her husband or wife oh my god it's terrible why why did i do this a hey, you could have said no yeah no i will not marry you okay so that's that's when you say you could have said no you could have said yes one time i was in a store and i saw I saw a lens. Un lente. And, um, and this is a true story. It was a pawn shop. Do you know what is a pawn shop? No. Oh, yes. What is a pawn yeah. shop? A pawn, pawn shop. It's like um, a casa de empeño. Yes. Uh -huh. Something like that. Pawn uh, shop. The, the gangas, bargains. Well, yeah. No, really, because every yeah. store has bargain. <laughs> pawn okay. shop is is um casa empeño, like you said. Okay. So I was in Metro Centro. Cornucopia. Uh, yeah, cornucopia. I think um <laughs> realice, realice is where this happened. I okay. saw this lens for a camera. And the lens, it was for a Canon. It was a beautiful a lens for, for the camera. And it was at $60. $60. Is she? Yeah, yeah, yes, because that lens is like $400. Yes, I know. Mm. But so you I kept bargain with the, 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 the pound shop. Because. Boring. Because sometimes they don't know what they are selling. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just say, oh, this, they don't know the difference sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I said, ah, mm -hmm. oh, man, I had, I had that day, I think I had with me $75 cash. And I looked at the oh, lens nice. and I said, no, I'll wait. I'll wait for Friday because Friday was payday. I said, I need the money now. And it was Wednesday. So that night I went and I saw on the internet because an hotel modelo de lens. And I said, oh, oh my <laughs> God. And I saw the price. And I said, immediately I went the next day to buy it and it was gone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. So my conclusion is I had the ability to buy it that day. Yeah, I could have bought it that day, but I didn't. Okay, so do you understand could? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. All right. Next, we have should. Should is like um, what Walter was saying. It's like an opinion or a, or a suggestion. Debería. Wow. Yes, deberías. But in past is debiste haber. <laughs> you should have. Mm -hmm. So Debería. can you give me an advice about the lens? You should. You should buy. You should have. You should have. You should have, have buy. Uh, buy. You have buy. bought it. You should have bought it. You should have bought it. You should have bought it. 
I oh, should yes. have bought it every day until today. I remember that it. lens every day. <laughs> you should have bought it. And I said, oh, man, I should have bought it. I should have bought should it. Have bought I should it. have bought it. A lot of regrets. Oh, yes. It. <laughs> it was a beautiful lens because um, some people think that the lens is to look closer, and it's not. Sometimes the lens is for different things. This lens was very Panoramica open. view. Yes. Uh, it was a beautiful it, lens. It was for Canon or Nikon? It was for Canon. Canon. For Canon. Yes, it was for a Canon. Oh, mm. man. It was beautiful. <sighs> I think <laughs> you, Fish should, you should yes. uh, search the, the real price in, in the moment when you were in the in the pawn oh. shop. Thank you, and, yes. And you should uh, realize the price. Yes, that's true. I didn't do that. I, sh I didn't, I didn't take, I didn't look at it in that moment. Like, oh man. But you know, oh well, life. <laughs> All right. Who can give me another example with should have? Um, let me see, listen to it. Daniel. Yancy Yvette, are you there? Yes, I am. All right, Yancy, how are you? I'm fine. You know, um, my wife is angry with me. <laughs> okay. Why? Why? Because, because for our anniversary, I bought her a stereo system for the house. <laughs> for the house, no for here. A, a sound system, beautiful Sony sound system for the house. For you? <laughs> no, it was for our anniversary. It was for my wife. Okay. And she's angry with me. Why do you think she's angry with me? Okay, you should to ask for her. It's passed, but it already passed. Ah, so you okay. should have. You. You should have to ask for her. You should have asked her. Ask, ask, ask her if she if she liked. It was a surprise. Okay. <laughs> hey teacher, you you should have to buy bought a wash machine or a stove. Oh no, that yeah. <laughs> that appliance, I don't Personal know. Idea. <laughs> but you know, you know, actually today that's not correct to give up. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, it doesn't matter because I wash my own clothes. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. And I cook and, uh, and good, actually I cook. And, and I cook, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, okay, good, thank you. So I should have asked her, yeah. But you know, I wanted to surprise her with a sound bar, Sony, 6,000 watts, 5.1 nice. sound. Nice. <laughs> yes, surround. You adapt to the, the, the smart TV. Of course, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but she got angry, you know, oh well. She get a little bit with me. And she says, yes, okay, okay, but I won't. <laughs> Sandra. Yes, sir. You know, um, let me tell you a sad, uh, a true story that happened to me, and you tell me what is the correct thing. Yes, tell me. One time I stole, mm -hmm. I stole, I think like $200 oh. from Walmart. From where? It was like $250 <laughs> from Walmart. I stole. Uh -huh. But let me tell you how. It was an accident. It's a true history. Yes, it's a true story. <laughs> and it really, it was an accident. <laughs> 
When I started working, my mother obligated me to pay her. And I was angry. Why? No, why do I have to pay you? Ah, pay me. Okay, good. So I was <laughs> I was angry for many years. And the day I left to live in my apartment, I had no money. So my mother told me, remember the rent you paid me? Yes, here. She returned all that money to me. Oh my God. It was, it was wow. a beautiful lesson. It was a very beautiful lesson. Yes, of course. So I was going to an apartment, empty apartment. I had nothing, only a bed and a microwave. So I remember I went to Walmart. Oh, and I had a small refrigerator. So I went to, to Walmart and I bought, I had maybe like, I don't know, I had... 1000 something dollars in cash. So I bought many things, many, 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 many things. Too many that I didn't need. And I had two cards. And I was happy because, wow, this is for my house. This is for me. I bought pillows. I bought blankets. So I bought a DVD player. <laughs> And uh, and a little stereo, but the stereo was nice. But I put the stereo in the bottom of the cart, abajo. So because I had two carts, when everything was passing, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, and I don't know. I think I paid like six hundred dollars that day, and two. Two employees from Walmart, they helped me to my car. <laughs> and I was thinking, wow, $600? I, I thought it was more. <laughs> so, okay, you know, I put everything in the car. And like two or three days later, I realized that they never passed the stereo. And the, oh no, it wasn't a DVD player. It was a, como se llama el otro DVD? El, Laser disc, no. VCR. Blu-ray. The Blu-ray. It Blu was a Blu-ray. So in in that time, the Blu-ray was like, wow. So I never paid for that stereo or the Blu-ray. <laughs> and it was like 200 something dollars. Oh. But oh. honestly, I didn't know because really, maybe... También fue culpa de los muchachos, because they were like <laughs> empacando <Yes>. todo, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I, I assumed that everything passed, Yeah. Oh. you know, so, um, and I, I was driving, and I said, hey, and I couldn't find the ticket, and when I checked on the ticket, yes, I didn't pay the Blu-ray or the stereo system. Do you think I did the correct thing, Sandra? Because mm -hmm. I realized three days later. Oh, well, anyway, uh, you should have gone to, uh, you should have come back to, to Walmart and explain to them what happened and return the money, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I did well, it though. Uh, well, well uh, when I was, I was, uh, I was to uh, a bank, I, I retired. From, from the account, uh, uh, $3,200 because I had to pay in another bank. And when I, and when I came to arrive to the other bank, I was counting one, two, three, four, five. And I said, oh my God, I have to have here only, only 32 bills of $100 each and I have and I have 33 you know oh my god and I and I came back to the to the to the first bank to return the $100 yeah because good. that's good otherwise <laughs> otherwise uh, the, the cashier had to pay it yes it's true but you realize in the moment like, yeah you mean, I, 
I yes. promise you that if I had realized that in the moment, I, I, I would have returned, yes. Yes, I know, I know. But it, it was like three days later, and yeah, you know, siempre me quedé con eso. I should have returned it. Okay. Y nunca <laughs> ni pegaron los Blu-rays. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. It, it was only like for six months that they were like, oh, this great thing. <laughs> <laughs> All only right. Only so, the PlayStation 3. <laughs> only the PlayStation 3. Yes, it's true. Oh. All right. Okay. So, um, very good. So, that's how you say you should have, you could have. Yes. So, going back to my example with the lens, I could have paid. Lo podía haber pagado because I had the ability to pay it in that moment because I had the money. But I didn't. So, or I should have paid. Mm -hmm. you, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have it thought too much. Very good. That's a, thank you. I was going to say that. What about a negative? You shouldn't have thought about it too much. About, about too much. Yeah. No, you know, now every time I go and I, and I see lenses, I go and I check. Like, mm -hmm. no, that's too expensive. Because some things are very, very expensive. But some things are very okay. okay. But someday, someday I will I will see it's a ganga. Do you know what, how to say ganga in English? Bargain. Mm, bargain? Yes, bargain. Yeah, that, that would be one bargain. Y también está en oferta, you say sell. Sell. Oh, yes. Okay. Don't confuse with the verb sell. Yeah. Okay. The pronunciation is the same. Of course it is. No. No. So. And the written is, is the same. So. The writing oh. is the same. No. I, I put it on the chat. I, it's on the chat. Sale is like, for example, in Black Friday, um, supposedly everything is on sale. Sale. Oh, because I have I have seen like the first sale, sale, sale. Ah, uh, sale is like está en oferta. Ah, uh, okay. Sell is vender. So Black Friday, everything is on sale. On sale. Okay. Está en venta. Oferta. Lo único que le ponen un, un algo que describe anteriormente como hey, the Black Friday sale, November sale, weekend sale. Yes. Um, yes. But now I have seen in some um, stores here that they put sale. Maybe because in Spanish we say sale, esto sale de, 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 del mercado, ya. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, maybe it makes sense. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> a mí me encanta cómo se está adaptando tanto el inglés, a, se está haciendo parte del español. Of course. Spanglish. English. Yo, I remember, I remember like 25 years ago, hace unos 25 años, cuando alguien decía, okay, la gente decía, ay, ay, soy gringo. Now, <laughs> <It's right. laughs> now everybody says, experience. okay, everybody says, okay. I have experience with this. Yes, Daniel. Eh, hace muchos años me mandaron de castigo para San Miguel, uh -huh. pequeño, y yo le dije a una tía, a mi mamá, Thank you. Y me pegaron. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know. I don't know about you, but for you, remember when you were little and your grandmother or your mother cooked for you and says, ¿Qué quieres, hijito? Huevos revueltos o, o con frijoles entero. Like, now it's like little hotcakes. <laughs> It's normal. <laughs> it's normal. Yeah, it's true. And porque like 20 years ago, like hot cakes or pancakes was only like for yes. high social class. Uh -huh. Yeah, now you can go to a despensa familiar in in a Canton Pepeto and vending mezcla para hot cake. So yeah, pancake. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, but Soyapango is cool. I mean, Soyapango so, Soyapango has bad reputation, but Soyapango is big. Yes, there, are, there yes, are some. I passed no, by Soy... Soyapango. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, miel de maple. Maple, Dicen que eso ya es mentira, ya no existe la miel de maple. Yo tengo una hermana en Canadá y cuando ella viene cada año me trae de Canadá. Uh -huh. Eso iba a decir, only from Canada. Yeah. Because it's difficult, mm -hmm. difficult to find the real maple. Viene en lata. lata. Really? Oh, sí. ¿Y usted sabe que ya quitaron a uh, Anjo Maima? Anjo Maima. What? Really? The, the symbol, Anjo Maima. Oh. Porque la generación cristal lo encontraba ofensivo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Oh, que va y un post. Yes, sí, chus, se recuerda, se recuerda. ¿Cómo me hacen burla? Decía uno. Hoy es bullying. 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 Yeah, bullying. <laughs> Yes. Todos me hacen bullying. No, you know, Antes todos todo todo estaban bien ofendidas. Ahora todo, todo es... Tenía... Ajá. Y ahora todo es ir al psicólogo. Porque está... <laughs> el trauma la Mis hijos you know, psicólogo. I was reading that. Um, no, every, everything, you know, remember Cookie Monster? Yeah. yeah. No. He doesn't exist anymore. Ya, ya, ya que, know, quiero... For the same reason, I suppose. Ya, yeah, porque <laughs> crea un mal hábito en comer en los niños con galletas. Cookie oh, Monster. Oh. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> It, it's really ridiculous. A mí me gustan ver los memes. Tengo una página de, de los ochentas y, y sale, por ejemplo. Si no te anduvieron así en el carro, no tuviste niñez cuando le tiran a niños de seis años atrás de un pickup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. No seat belt, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Or remember, jugando, remember. Jugando fútbol descalzos. Yes. Or your father giving you beer. <laughs> you remember your father yeah. or D or somebody, they always gave you beer when you were a baby. If you do that now, it's like, oh my God. I don't know if uh, is, if some someone of my family did it to me, but I saw uh, to my brother did it um, on one of my sister um baby mm -hmm. and your sister what did she do oh she she's she didn't say anything one time i hit my son and then i got Vinny. and he started saying auxilio auxilio He's like, what <laughs> he started screaming <laughs> okay why do you say auxilio <laughs> Because the, the teacher told them, like, bueno, <laughs> but, sí, lo nal, igual lo nalgué. <laughs> auxilio, auxilio. Yeah, poor, poor generation, yes. So the, the, um, the Anjomaima Patricia, the, the maple syrup, she doesn't exist anymore. Siempre lo mismo, but it's not Anjomaima anymore. Oh, they closed it. Yeah. But, you know, I, ta I tell the generation, hey, I love Pepe Lapu, and he didn't affect me. <laughs> yes, Pepe Lapu never made me want to go uh, harass a woman. No. Yeah, it's true. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, class, then uh, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank you. Good morning. Good night. 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 Good night.